What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. So, this is Thursday. That's Newsday. So, I already uploaded a video today about how to get the sword. Um, I don't think they were supposed to release the sword, or maybe they released it by accident. I don't know, but there was no, like, official statement that this weapon was released from Elena or anyone. So, I don't know why the sword is out today, but it is. And if you click the top right-hand corner near my webcam, uh, there's a video on how to get the sword if you want to get that. But... If you don't know, if you're new to the channel, Thursday we do the news, all the news on a Vicious Quest world, a bunch of future stuff, Valentine's Day update, Deja's birthday, uh, new sets of gear, stuff you won't find on the sign notes or Twitter. Let's get into the video. Alright, so if you didn't know, the Ground Hork Day is here for 2017. I think this event's only here for like until the end of today, so the day you're watching this video. But it might be here longer than that. Sometimes they leave events in longer than they're supposed to be in the game. But I think it's supposed to be like a one day only event. Uh, you can get your 2017 Ground Hork Day rares just by going to the Hork Fort. Of course, you can get the 2017 Weather Predicting Philip the Weather Predicting Groundhog, uh, Groundhog Hood and Hat. Those three items you can get, so those will only be here for a little while. So if you want to get those, you can get them. Alright, so this weekend, we're having a little bit of a quest for a blade, I guess, is the premise of the event, which is pretty cool. Um, like I already said, the one blade is already out. It's in-game right now. I, It's an orange version. Uh, here you can see the red version of the blade that's already in-game that you can get. Of course, the video's top right corner where I said that. Um, so it's a red version of that. And you need to get this to get the blindingly bright reward, uh, which we already have a name for, or at least I would guess it's Death's Bright Blade. Uh, you can see Panolia has the orange version that's already in game, uh, but it has a different name than the current in game version. Uh, currently in game, it's called the Dread Knight Cleaver. Uh, but on Panolia's character page here, uh, it was an early screenshot from eight hours ago. Uh, it's called Death Bright, Death Bright Blade here. Uh, so of course they changed the name of it in game. Uh, I guess once they figured out people actually had it. So that maybe this was uh, supposed to be the reward initially. I don't know. Uh, but right here we can see that this blade's different, of course, from this one. And I have Photoshop open here. So here's this blade, which a lot of people like. And if we take the other blade, so this one. From the picture and we put this over it of course and we can make the opacity a little bit less so you can see uh, they're pretty much the same shape you know there's a little uh, deviation near the hilt area and the hilt's kind of placed backwards more so the blade will be will seem a little bit longer in game because the hilt's placed back more uh, which has less of a grip there but basically the end of the blade from like here onwards is about the same so it could definitely be a version of this like a bright version of this although if you do look at it it does have like skulls as uh, well it could be what they kind of look circular with a little indent so not really skulls but sort of and I don't know it kind of looks like a plant sort of it looks like a weapon has like a plant on it you can see on the end here at the bottom of the hill, uh, yeah, at the bottom of the grip, uh, there's a, um, uh, a light coming off of it, basically, so it's, like, shining on the bottom. So this could be the Bright Blade, uh, that we already have the name for. And basically how Elena got this picture for this is she took the blade, she went with color overlay, uh, made it black, and then, uh, well, I shouldn't have closed that, then did an outer glow, made the outer glow red oh, I guess like that color red I uh, went ah windows notification sound okay and did okay and that's how she got the blade to look like that uh, for the picture a little bit darker red on the picture but you get the you get the idea so it could be based off this blade is what I'm trying to say in Photoshop here so that is that so we know what this Friday's event is but we have about all the events for February so they're all on the design notes right now, so we can go over all of them. Uh, uh, Ground Horks Day, that's already in-game uh, tomorrow. Uh, we're having the Mysterious Quest plus Blood Samurai 
February bonus gear. I'll actually go over some February bonus gear that hasn't been shown anywhere. I have some images that not a lot of people have seen. Uh, very few people actually, so we'll go over those later in the video. Um, the Punt Twilly in Lore Bowl this Sunday. Uh, Heroes Heart Day returns with new OPT, OTP, uh, one true, uh, what? I, I looked this up on Google, OTP, it's like one true, I don't know, something like that. Um, one true, I, I, th I think it's supposed to be, I don't know, okay, whatever. Uh, so Heroes Heart Day is returning on the 10th, which is next Friday. And uh, that weekend, we're having 15% more XP and gold on all servers, I would guess. Maybe not testing servers, maybe just all the live servers. And then the Friday after that, we're traveling to the Dark Fortress, home of the Infernal Invasion Force. I don't know if that's a new storyline or a continuation on an old storyline. I'm not too certain about that, but uh, it sounds like a filler event. Eh. If I was gonna, if I was gonna say filler, that sounds like a filler event. And hopefully they're filling for uh, the week after that. The carnival returns with a new party slash party plus season seasonal gear. A new slash party. I like new slash parties. Parties is a good map. Uh, party weekend. So 15% more rep and class points. And pancake day on the 28th. Which turns uh, puts a pancake person in Yolgar. And she flings pancakes at people. Pretty good, pretty good stuff. Uh, so if you want to go in the Zynos and read what's leaving, uh, so the most important thing I guess is light cast the class, uh, you probably, and then I'll get birthday gear. If you want to get that, it's going to be gone tomorrow, so if you're watching this on the day it's uploaded, uh, get the stuff while it's here if you haven't got it already, because it'll be gone very soon. Some Hero Heart Day, we are talking about it before. Uh, here's some gear that Elena put on Twitter. I really like the top hat. Armor matches it, looks pretty nice, and, uh... It looks like a recolor of a cane we previously had in game, so good stuff there. Uh, Krulon is making some, I guess, cat themed hair. These look like treasure chest uh, items, like items they put in treasure chests. Uh, and there's also a male version down here. Uh, so look forward to that. Probably in a treasure chest. Well, that's just a guess, of course. Uh, so they're already planning uh, Deja's birthday, which, if you don't know, is exactly a month away from. Or 30 days. Uh, well, yeah, I guess. It's the 2nd of March. Today it's the 2nd of February. It's the 2nd of March. February, March. So it, it's about a month away. And it, everyone looks forward to his birthday most of the time. It'll probably be on the Friday. In the first Friday of March. That'll probably be when it is. Uh, but Dave's birthday is on the 2nd of March. So they're already planning for that. So if you have any suggestions, you could probably uh, tweet those to Dage. And he might take them into consideration. So if you have any item suggestions, maybe... Uh, a little bit of story you'd like to see or something like that. You can tweet that to Dage and he, he, he'll probably see it and uh, maybe take it into consideration. So, uh, the package is leaving. The Archfiend package is leaving. Uh, which I have on my character. I've not, I haven't even looked at it, to be honest. So, right now in game, there's a package for Archfiend. I, I look, I, like I've seen the pictures, the promotional pictures for it. I didn't like it. I haven't even opened the shop in game, to be honest. So it's a $10 version, you get the sword, uh, the armor, the helmet, the cape, and the blade pad. Okay, cool, it's got a blade pad. That's pretty nice, and it's all non-member. So, yeah, if you are interested in this helmet, or armor, or cape, and there's a dark version for 12 month, 12 KAC. Also, uh, if you're interested in any of that, it'll be gone tomorrow. So, make sure you get on that. And once it leaves, of course, the new set comes in, the Blood Samurai and the Samurai Jade, or the Ceremonial Jade Samurai. A lot of talking. So it looks like he has a pet of the red version's cape right here. And let's look at some screenshots that I have from character pages. So we have two different screenshots. Here's the first one with the red one. Uh, so there's a blade that comes with the red Well, I'm going to assume comes with the red set. So, uh... Unlock the rewards. Four helmets. Uh, t yeah, four helmets, two capes, including Samurai Guardian. Uh, two weapons. So there's probably one of the two weapons right there. And there's the other one with no animation on it. So you get one with an animation. So on the character page, which I can't look at right now because the character had it equipped, changed uh, the items. But on the character page, uh, this was animated. So it's kind of like, uh, I guess, like a blood sort of animation. It was going down the blade. Uh, but... Uh, they've swapped off and you can see that 
Uh, there's side blades that might be part of the armor. Is that part of the armor? Yeah, so the side blades are part of the armor. That's not the cape because the cape's the red guy. Here's a different version of it in game. So on here, it looks smaller uh, for some reason than it does on this picture right here. And this was this was in game. So this is the character page image. So that might have been taken. They might have resized it. They might have either made it smaller for the design notes or they made it larger for the in game. I don't know why that looks different. It might actually not be different. I'm just yeah so there's a different version of the helmet also of course four helmets so there'll be a few different versions of that hopefully there's versions where you can see the face on this one and on this one also and here's a more interesting version for the jade samurai of course let's get rid of that so you can see on here there's a version with the face and that would lead me to believe there's a version of the red helmet that also has the face on it and here's the version without the face and two capes or this could be because if you look at them, they're slightly different. So this one's kind of squished, like it looks like they squished them together. And this one's more, the other one is more wider. So this could be a pet and this one could be the uh, cape. So that would actually make sense because does it say you get, so you don't get a pet with uh, this version, but for this version, uh, do you get a pet? All the blood, you get all the gear, of course, from the other one you get. Four helmets, three katanas, that's one more katana than that version. Uh, three capes, including the Jade Guardian. So the Jade Guardian would be the green version of the red one. Um, and that looks to be it, I guess. So nope, it doesn't say anything about pets, but sometimes they include pets and they don't say it on the side notes. That's happened before. So th that could be a pet, so keep that in mind. Or it could be a cape with two of them for some... I don't, I don't think that's it, but... There's some interesting info on the new package, if you haven't seen that already, of course. Um, and our last bit of news is the Lore Bowl Sunday event. Uh, we're going to have the team armor, the away armor, the rush team armor, the varsity team armor, juice barrels, helms, pom-poms, pigskins, and moglin ref pet, and you can get your badge. So if we go to character page, uh, you can get your punt badge. You have to hit a 100 meter punt, uh, so it's basically just RNG. Uh, to get it, but let's see. Do I have my punt badge? Yeah, Mulligan Punter. So uh, kick a mulligan 100 yards. You can get this badge. It's a seasonal badge that comes back every year, and it'll be available again this year, of course, like it is every year. You can also get the red and the blue armor. Of course, it's the male and female version of both. And here are some armors equipped. So we've got an animated helmet right there. I don't know if that helmet's been animated every year, but it does look pretty cool. I like the armor. I'll probably get that. Pretty cool red and black. And then we got the blue and white. On that one and the blue and white male armor we don't have red and black male armor but we can assume that it looks like that just red and black of course that is all the news we have for today that's a lot of news and the event is coming out tomorrow we'll be streaming that uh, when it's out it probably come out in the morning which I really don't like I wish it would do them in the afternoon but I get that's more uh, friendly to the people that live on the other side of the world uh, from the uh, from North America so it's better for them but it sucks that I have to like wake up really early to do the event, uh, but it's fine. We'll do the event when it's out. If it's out at 3.30, if it's not out at 3.30, before 3.30, the stream will start at 3.30 at the latest. So it could be any time during the day before that for the stream, but the latest time it's going to start is 3.30 Pacific Standard Time, uh, West Coast of North America. So that is all. Uh, if you want to see how to get the blade I have equipped, click the top right hand corner for that. I uploaded that video earlier today. And other than that, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Leave a like if you liked it, a dislike if you did not, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, tell me what you're most excited for. I still really want to know more info about Valentine's Day event. I want to know, I'm guessing we'll get some more uh, this week, of course. Uh, we've seen one set of items. I would like to see more and uh, more info on how this wheel is going to work because you're going to have to talk to this guy to do the wheel, uh, spin the wheel of course or maybe we're not even spinning the wheel uh, but I don't know how that's going to work. I'm really interested in how the Valentine's Day event is going to work and it's going to feature Belina as NPC too which is really interesting. We don't see a lot of Belina these days. Thank you guys for watching again. I've said that like 12 times now. I'll get out of here. Peace. Have a great rest of your week.